Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cook with me video again. I am doing chicken and corn casserole. And what I'm doing is I have just got two tablespoons of butter that I melted in a pot. Just a medium uh, pot. And I added two tablespoons of flour that I've just uh, cooked for a couple minutes to cook out the flour taste. Okay, I'm going to get this set up here real quick. Okay, and now I've got, let to turn it down a bit. Got two cups of half and half. Work this around so that there's no lumps and let this thicken. Just gonna let this thicken for a couple of minutes. Let's see. Is there anything I can do while that's happening? No, so I'm going to let this thicken and I will be back. Okay, so I have let this cook for a few minutes. This thickened. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Add in a 16 ounce bag of frozen corn. And one tablespoon of sugar. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Get this a stir. And I am going to remove this from the heat so it can cool slightly. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see. Let me turn y'all to where y'all can see. Over here. What I'm going to do is I've got just a box of chicken flavored stuffing mix. Okay. I'm going to like cut my chicken breast 
in half toward their thinner. I'm gonna go one-handed here. <laughs> okay, we've got those halves. Let me just move out this away and wash my hands. Now then, I have two large eggs that I just um, whisked up. I'm just going to kind of temper this a bit. And just add it in. Just stir that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this mixture into a 13 by 9 inch baking dish that I did spray. Take my chicken breast. And I'm just gonna coat them with the um, stuffing mixture. And then I'm just going to pour this over the top as well as the remaining in the bag and, and all around. Okay, so I'm going to put this into the oven. I've got it preheated to 350 degrees. 
and I will cook it for about 40 minutes. So, I uh, will check back with you when it's done. See you in a bit. Well, here it is. Chicken and corn casserole. Looks like the only thing that I would maybe change about this is the stuffing mix that was on top. It's still kind of crunchy. So, I would recommend the extra just kind of mixing it into the corn mixture before you begin to cook it. So, I'm actually just going to kind of turn these over and see if that won't help moisten up those that were on top. So, other than that, I, and my stove it was clean before I began cooking. <laughs> That's just where you gotta take the scrub brush, you know, or the SOS pad. So, the stove is horrible. Anyways, so, that would be my only recommendation if you were to make this, would be to stir that extra into the corn mixture before you began cooking. So, just give this a taste because I've never made this recipe before. quite tasty. I like that. Anyways, if you try this, go ahead and leave me some comments below and let me know what you think. Or if you have a dish similar, go ahead and leave that below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I just want to add to this video because I ate the dinner and like the first bite you know you just don't really get into it but as I continued to eat it I thought eh it's kind of bland I might would try it again but I think if I tried it again I would spice it up and maybe add a can of uh, green chilies and see what that does for it. And maybe give it a, li a little more salt. And as far as the stuffing mix, as I mixed it around, it did get incorporated in uh, to the corn mixture to where it wasn't all dried out. Or the breadcrumbs weren't just hard pieces of dried breadcrumbs. But it was on the, uh, the dry side, so I would... Uh, in addition to maybe adding green chilies and a little more salt uh, to the dish, I would use like only half of the breadcrumbs instead of the whole bag. So if you try it, I would recommend those changes. Only half a bag of the uh, stuffing mix and then adding a can of uh, diced green chilies in with it to kind of give it a kick and uh, just uh, sprinkle on some salt. So, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.